because it doesn't work. I've got the yeah. um, measuring tape, and we've got a... Yeah, uh, Probably actually about the same size as the other room was because well, it's the was thing so is there's a lot more usable space no, in I'm here. Thinking that my old room was actually probably about like there from there, maybe actual usable space. Yeah. And that'll probably go over here this way, maybe. So I can have both of the things, and then shelf, probably other shelves. Yeah, we have. There's room for shelving on the walls and stuff. And yeah. Stuff. Well, I'm just trying to think of how I want because my bed's the biggest thing. I'm saying the bed. I'm thinking I'm just gonna set that up here on this side. How it be on. Here and then put like something over here, and then yeah, that's the wall that doesn't have anything on it, and the doors are running in that way. So, that's such an interesting tray. <laughs> well, it like it flips up. Oh, god, he's got a drunk octopus hanger. I guess it's because I've never seen it before. Oh, that, but yeah. It's just nice. That's a little different. God, I like the tub in here. I Look like at it. It's so deep. Yeah. Oh, this is going to be really good. I know. So I was like, I'm, it's too bad we got the towel all dirty because I was like, I was tempted to bring a towel and just take a oh bath when we came I'm over just here. Oh, yeah. like, Jesus. Couldn't do that in the last house. Yeah, it's, um, it's quite a bit bigger on the inside than it looks. Oops. I really like the green walls. I love how it's all throughout the house. Yeah. That's like my favorite thing now. This looks like this can probably be moved closer to the dryer so we can put a countertop there. Okay, you want to go wander around a little bit outside? I want to take a picture of the walls for picture. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I figure we can blow the air mattress up if we just want to sit around because it's going to be like a couple hours. Uh, it'll probably be four, three or four hours at least. Uh, my husband's doing a show at the 40 watt. So, you know what? I need to go to the bathroom. I don't want to do that with this one. I, I, I can hold your phone. I don't think you can go to the bathroom. Okay. Uh, there's toilet paper in the car if you want there's me to There's also toilet paper in the car. Okay. They left after all the bathroom. Ah! I'm not good at commentary, but I'm going to sit out here and wait for her to get back. Oh, this toilet's really short. <laughs> well, the sink is too, so... Oh, it's going to massage the shower head. Look at that. Rock on. Yeah, that's really cool. Yeah, I like it. Yeah, I like it. Take your phone because I also need it. I I don't know I don't know why I like the like floor vents so much, but I like them much better than like the high vents. I think it's because I can actually feel. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I just like I, well maybe it's because it makes the floor cooler, not the ceiling. But I just really really like the floor vents. Um, I'm gonna go for you real quick as well. Yeah. It's a nice change for most of the houses that yeah, you no, come I mean, into and they're it's, white. It's the shade too. It's not like a normal shade of green. Yeah, no, it's nice. It's seafoam green. Okay. We're going to have to put a, a new lock on this back door because this thing is just not, That's not bad. effective. Yeah. I'm not terribly worried about it, but yeah. It's, Oh, yeah. That works fine. I just got the deadbolt done on it or it doesn't lock.
sign right there. Oh. oh, yeah, old house. This house was built in the 30s, like 35, something like that. Lock the house. Yeah, Go on a little walk. And come back here and, I don't know, hang out until the show's done. Obviously, I should not be allowed to try and lock these doors, because I'm just not. <laughs> Apparently, I do. Apparently, I cannot lock Here. these doors. What? Damn it. Okay, that one got locked, but it's not locking the door. See, the doorknob's locked the now. Yeah, but the but it's not keeping it. the door shut. Yeah, it was real sticky. Maybe you need to pull on the door, push on it, jump up and down three times. I know it worked because I managed to lock it when I was trying to get in. Okay. Here, okay, hold this for a minute. <laughs> People have uh, watched us struggle to close the door. Left lock. Okay, left, left lock, lock. And you kind of have to pull on the door a little bit to get it together. That's that's easy to remember though. LL. Left lock. Right. Left, left lock. Left to lock on the top, right to lock on the bottom. Of course. Jump up and down three times, recite a prayer. Yank on the door a little bit. My threaten it. Door friend, <laughs> please let me bestow into the Okay, I want to go down and see. We didn't go to the end of the dead end here last time, so I want to walk down and see what's down here. Which could be very far. It looks like it just kind of stops at the railroad tracks. Yeah. <laughs> Literally just stops yeah. down here. Okay. Well, that's fun. Oh, there's like a little driveway or access road or something down there. I feel like I had a dream about that area at one point and driving down it. Huh. Well, I think that should be explored sometime in better light, maybe. Let's... Yeah. 
here. We have plenty of opportunities for that. Yes. <laughs> All right, we're just going to wander around a little bit. we got a few hours before my husband's done at this show they're doing up there right now. There's a kitty. Looks like it. Mm -hmm. Looks like she lost all her weight trying to tighten around everything. Yep. Oh, okay. Hey, kitter. <laughs> oh, this is my road. No. Yeah. Okay, this is my road. You're friendly, kitty. Very friendly, yes. kitty. Hello. Uh, oh, it's so soft. <laughs> yeah, painted with his neighborhood cat. Yep. It's always good. Josh earlier, um, when I went up, he was like, Are you ready to move to Athens? Like, yeah, I am. Yes. Ready to get out of the middle of nowhere. Into yeah. civilization. Into the middle of somewhere, literally. <sighs> Pretty much, yeah. Oh, those are neat houses right over there. We didn't go down that way. We yeah, just walked down, walk down this way. And it's, I'm, I'm glad we came, like, not in the middle of the day. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so it's not well, it should be nice. We should be coming in and out tomorrow, which yeah, shouldn't we'll really have any traffic at all. Cause... But we're probably going to, I'm guessing we'll get this, like, most of the beds moved tomorrow. Yeah, I'm not sure, like, what exactly the plans are. Yeah. Because the truck's got that busted windshield, and so... Yeah. We can get y'all's own mattress in my bed in the car. Yeah, that's true. That's we, could take the, we could take the air mattress and, and that and... and we have the other over one here. there. Be, but the futon fits in the car, and I don't need the frame. Wow. I like these old houses. Be yeah. careful not to walk into a car. Probably be trying not to walk in the road over here. <laughs> Been living in the middle of nowhere way too long. Yeah, these are all old houses out here. Oh my god, do you remember how bad? I can't remember what you was on, but the house that just had the bamboo forest next to it. That just reminded me of it. Like oh, the place we were living on, on Best Drive? No, it was the house <sighs> after that. The one that had mold in the wall and they had to move out. Oh, that was um, Holman. Holman Avenue. Yeah. I don't remember anything else about that house <sighs> except for... The, the backyard thing. looked like Haiti. It was ridiculous. The lady had been keeping chickens there. And it was no, like, it was that. crazy. I remember the old chicken coop. <laughs> I remember going and exploring it and being like... This is really weird. Yeah. <laughs> but there, no, because next to it, on the left, left, yeah, there was bamboo. And I ate the sheets from it sometimes. Oh, yeah, now we used to dig the sheets up and cut them, do all sorts of stuff with them. Nice little garden there. Cleveland Avenue. Okay, I guess we're gonna point ourselves in the direction of downtown now. It is that way, right? Yeah. I'm all turned around now. There's the railroad tracks that we crossed to get here. Those are the other way down. Right. I don't know. We'll go down here and time. Whatever. It's not like we got a time limit. Wandering little residential area. I think we're safe. Hello, who's this? Oh, thank you. Who gave me a Delarge? Then yogurt closet, hello. <laughs> <laughs> 
So we just moved out here and we're just kind of hanging out. We don't have anything in our house out here yet. My husband is working a shift over at the fabulous 40 watt club for a couple hours and so we figured we'd come and just like hang out for a little bit. We're gonna actually start moving our stuff in tomorrow but I wanted to do this in a logical way this time and like measure the inside of the house and figure out where we're putting things instead of just what we normally do which is put everything in the living room and then over the course of a couple of months move it around. And I really don't wanna do that again. <laughs> How long have we been walking? Five Not minutes. very long. Yeah, like five minutes. Uh, I've been streaming for like 15 minutes. We walked around the inside of the house. We looked around there a little bit. So yeah, we basically just walked down. I guess that road won't put us back up where we want to go. <laughs> Definitely dead end into the other side of the track. Yeah. Uh, so no, we haven't been walking very long. We live right near here now. We're just kind of looking for a cross street that goes all the way through so that we can get back into the downtown and go back the way we came. <sighs> so we're heading now back toward to the 40 watt end where we live. So we're not going to have to go straight through downtown. We're in Oh my god, it's a gaggle of girls. <laughs> what? <sighs> what? It's nice out here. Well, after you come out of the house, there's a seed. Yeah, it is nice out here. <laughs> uh oh. Alright. I think our garage has some issues. Yeah, we basically just walked down kind of the end of the street that we live off of. And the other side of it connects to downtown, so that's where we're going now. I don't know what we're going to do downtown, wander around a little bit, I guess. I need to bring my phone charger, I totally forgot that. <laughs> they have Santa out already. I'm down for like decorating for Christmas early, but that raccoon! God, I'm a dork. <laughs> it's a raccoon! Oh my god, it's a raccoon! Wow. Hello, East Dance. Of course, we got a train coming right when we get up to the train tracks. I can hear it. Oh. It's going very slow, though. I'll probably get over the crossing before it gets up here. 
there's like a switching station right over there, so I think probably we'll hear a lot of traffic right there. So, we live down that way. Something like that, yeah. <laughs> You know, I grew up in downtown Athens, and we ended up moving out when a kid was ready to go to kindergarten because the schools where we were were better. And now, uh, now we're back in town. Gibbs upholstery. I did ask her a place with a bunch of neat abandoned buildings all around it. That's why it took so damn long to find a new place. If you would like to purchase <laughs> some, oh, they got a nativity set out there. Shoes. And uh, no, I guess the train is nowhere near. Oh, this is the old train station. Yeah. Oh, cool. I wonder if we can get over there. Well, I'm not going to go on the tracks. I was thinking I like train. straight Sorry, through. Oh, bah. I know, it's dumb, but it's there. Oh, it smells good over here. Somebody's burning something. Hurry, I want to see the train. It looks like the train is way down there. Like, I can hear it, but it is going way slow. It's probably down at the switching station down there. Keep an eye on my stream long enough, you'll you'll see a train. I'm sure we're living right next to train tracks now. Wait for the train. <laughs> there, that is like way far away. I can't even see it. They want us to sit here. Dude, where is it? It's like way. It's past the trees down there. Yeah, it's like down around the curve. It is way far away. I'm kind of surprised I can hear it. It might also just be the train. Oh, there's an engine. I'm gonna yeah, I think that's, that's the. It. Yeah, okay. It's, it's not, not moving. Right. There's an engine sitting between. So at some point, they're going to come up and connect another train to that one. But I am I not know. sitting here for God only knows how long till that happens. Yeah, like I said, switching. Oh, I, I just hear them like locking and unlocking the stuff. That's neat. I like their uh, stained glass thingy up there. It is. It's beautiful right now, man. And this, I need to look and see what this is. I don't know whether this is like a landscaping and art. Thing or somebody's private studio or what? That used to be an old factory. You kind of see like some of the bits of the old. I need to, after we've gotten settled in, I need to go check those people out, go say hi to them because I'm an artist. My dad is an artist. My whole family are artists talk to them and see like what what they're doing over there. A bunch of sculpture. They're like, why are you peeking through my shit? I'm just curious. Baby. Hey, dude. What a cutie. No, the cicadas don't bother me at all. I grew up here. Hey, buddy. Oh, I just wanted to make sure he was out of the road. Yeah, it's a little bitty, like, newly hatched uh, rat snake. <laughs> I bet a witch lives here. A witch lives here now. <laughs> If there wasn't one here before, there is one as of today. I actually, I'm sure a lot of witches live around here. Oh my god, I know there's a crap ton of people in the Pagan Student Association. They're just all 
like in their 20s and so I guess since we're living in Athens again I will probably reconnect with them they made it walkers though I don't want to go walkers a pub I'm too old for pubs Baby rat snake. Yeah, I did kind of. Just looking at him, I'm like, is that a baby copperhead? No, it's not. It's a baby rat snake. It's fine. So yeah, no, the cicadas don't bother me. We, I grew up here. I mean, that's just the noise yeah, that. Staying in a farm where they're up in the trees right above us, and they're oh like, yeah. Here, there, this is here. this is a lot less cicada noise than we have been hearing yeah, at the boy, place where we've been staying. Oh, You'll still hear it. This won't be loud. Not as bad. They're right above my tent. <laughs> no, I know. They're in the trees. Sometimes they fall onto my tent, and I can. The crickets are so annoying too. Oh my god. <laughs> they're so loud. Ah. Oh. I see civilization. <laughs> this is, Athens is so weird. It's like there's this little downtown city area. And then around it, it's just all these little old residential houses. These are all like... I mean, some of these look like they were built. That one's obviously a newer one. Weird design. <laughs> but most of these were like built in the 1920s, 1930s. Bunch of old little bitty houses. It's normally like students live down here because the houses are small and old and kind of crappy. But I happen to like living in houses that are old and kind of crappy and I don't really care about the small part. So. It's nice. It's got a nice little backyard with nothing growing in it. Mostly bare dirt. Which is good because I have a whole bunch of plants that need to go in the ground. I yeah, would we'll be happy back there. Yeah, these weird, like, art deco houses that they put in here. Oh, that smells good, though. All this stuff blooming. They got a fountain I can hear. Excited that we had a beekeeper. Honey bear, beekeeper. honeycomb. Okay, those are ten bucks good, for a thing of. Those are really good prices yeah, for honey. That's for like raw, organic, right from down the street honey. Yeah, definitely. So cool. I like that they've got a little station out there basically where you can make orders and place it. And those, that's a no contact honey station. Dig it. I once trapped a lizard in my house to hunt a single cricket. <laughs> oh. Let's see. Other people, I'll put my mask on. I don't know what it's going to look like down there. I know there are some live shows going on. Yeah, I love 
raw honey. It's really good for treating wounds and stuff too. It's sticky stuff. I know. <laughs> one of our cats. One of our cats. Yeah. A lot. Um, so one of our cats has a, he's got very sensitive skin and he yeah. reacts to various things, including I tried to put a flea collar on him one time. <laughs> so it is. But yeah, we put a flea collar on it. He, it broke him out and a lot of others like stuff uh, sensitive too. And we have to put honey on it so it doesn't. Doesn't get, it keeps it from getting infected and he really doesn't like it. Some of the animals don't mind. Like my other cats don't care. The dog thinks it's yummy. Ringo thinks it's torture. is good for you. It's not bad here. Oh, I'm all stuffy. I don't want to keep my mask on around people. I just don't want it on where it's... It's just increasing the humidity inside the mask, which is what's making my sinuses dump right now. The purple house. Here we are, downtown. Yay! So happy. This is the closest I've lived to downtown ever. Like, we lived within walking distance for a long time, but not, like, literally a couple blocks away. I like it. I pretty much grew up downtown. My dad had a glass blowing studio down here, and I stayed with him all day when I was little, so I pretty much lived down here. I guess here and then we'll cross over. Yeah. Yeah, we're fine. We're fine. Jaywalk, you'll survive. Is it hot over here? Not. It's, it's actually really nice right now. 70? It's much cooler than, well, cooler than it was right before. Yeah, it's um, really nice right now. It's like, yeah, maybe like 75-ish at the very most. And that's really only because uh, heat's coming off the ground right now. So it's actually very pleasant here. Especially for Georgia. It's supposed to get down to 60 tonight. It's going to be chilly. Creature comforts in the old Michelin tire, snow tire building up there. Got a few hours to kill. Let's go that way. Oh man, it's gonna be so nice here. Christmas, they decorate everything. You know, it's so pretty. Too. Yes. Which I haven't been to in a long time. Oh god, the Athens Christmas parade. Yeah. yeah. You never go. Well, I know because we never want to try and Car. fight our way into downtown. Yeah. yeah. But now it's that's true. I tried saying this, Josh, I'm excited for the bumpy because we need to walk.
A lot warmer over here than it is by our house. <laughs> Explain what stuff to people. I don't think I should share that. Okay. It's not sexual. All right. But I it's, it's, I don't think the person I'm saying to is like. That's fine. That's um, perfectly fine. It's, it's nothing sexual though. I'm not explaining random sexual stuff. Uh, I don't people. care if you were. Whatever. I gotta clear my name for Reddit, but what if they think? <laughs> You're some deviant. Oh, definitely. Yeah. That's where everybody is over here. Because this is where the clubs are. I know. <laughs> oh, it does. It smells yummy. Don't want to wander through crowds of random people. Let's go up this way. Yeah, I just like I don't I don't mind the people. I just I'm not a big fan of crowds in general. Ever.
there's not really anything except bars and clubs open at night. Probably not going to be much open tomorrow either. It'd be nice to come down and take photos downtown though when it's empty. It's always Sunday morning is, is always a nice time to walk around downtown. Of course, it's pretty quiet for a Saturday night right now, too. It's the middle of a pandemic, dude. I haven't been to downtown in like two years. Came down for the first time a few weeks ago. <laughs> it has been forever. And now we're living here, so, you know, can't avoid it. Smokers Den. I go to your right. now <laughs> oh god who is at the 40 walk the other day cracker cracker was at the 40 walk the other day Bars are packed. No, thank you. I'm gonna start heading back toward the house. Yeah. Like we can keep wandering around if you want. But... It's kind of warm out here. Digging out in the middle of downtown for some reason. Yeah, I don't really want to wander around the super club heavy area. Oh, they got Christmas lights going out. Yay! That makes me happy, even though it's a little bit early for him. Okay, going back toward back toward our house. The Wolf Street. This is the music part of the Wolf Street. We need to go in the upstairs part at some point. I mean, they're not open right now, obviously, but. Oh man, I used to get so much stuff from here. Do you remember coming in here when you were little? Yeah. Native America Gallery. Okay, well I remember it when it was like smaller, not in this building. Yeah. Well, it's not too bad around here. These are all just retail stores, so there aren't a bunch of people hanging around. Rural Athens. <laughs> Bearhughoney.com. Suck it, Mama. Oh, yes. We found it. Hallelujah. Praise Jeebus. Yes. You know what this is? This is the Jumpin's daughter's brother. <laughs> I'm so happy. 
Oh, they have like an actual big store. Good for them, man. They closed down. They were cohabiting with another store for a while. And now, oh, I'm so happy. Good. Come in there like, uh, they'll probably be closed on Monday. I have to go in there on Tuesday. You know it, The impeccable pig. Oh, and there's where Harry's moved to over there. Okay. <sighs> Friends, saying hello. Orem. Oh, I gotta poke my head into Orem someday and tell them that we're living downtown. Well, look. You see what's in their front window? See? See? And we always oh. run stuff out to them. Yeah. This is, that's, my dad makes these, these like super cool things. Um, glass stuff. But, oh, wow. Oh, those are Loretta's. I was like, where'd they get all those? Those are Loretta Eby's. Oh, and there's, that's Christy Moody's right there. Christy Moody, Paul Vincennes, my dad. Loretta Evie, the baskets of ornaments down the floor. What else? Oh. That looks almost like... Some of the pottery looks almost like Chappelle's, maybe Chapman. I recognize most of the art in there. That's really funny. I know, like, the people who... who they've got some of the neat uh, undersea stuff that Dad did. <laughs> it's funny. I'm like, I know that artist. I know that artist. I know that artist. I know everybody. No, just the really old school people. All right. We need to go Washington Street. I don't even know where we're going. That's the Rexall Drugs. <laughs> it's been a long time since I've been downtown. Oh, there's the Georgia Theater. the street that we need to get on to get home. Yeah. Yes, this is Lumpkin. Downtown Athens, Georgia. We are walking down Washington Street right now. Oh man, that smells so good. I've got some snack food at the house. I didn't get any like real food food. <laughs> no, no, no. This is downtown Athens. 
Classic city. Stuff in her house. We're out working some Morton Theater. To Lagrange, not in a very long time. Walk around the city with you more, child. Look, okay, the car that hit me and Moose tried to stop and it didn't. And it gives me anxiety because it wants to happen again. So, uh, I have reason to have this anxiety. Why Megatron only? So we're about to head back to our, our place. Which has nothing, nothing in it. Um, not in the ghetto like you. Um, <laughs> this is Athens. There's not a fucking ghetto in Athens. My god, little college boy. Jesus. Oh my god. You're at arrivals? <laughs> Watch where I'm going instead of looking around all the pretty lights. toward our hostel. Uh, you know, uh, when I was a kid, one of my friend's dads was a roadie for Widespread Panic, and I remember going to Widespread Panic shows when they were playing, like, down by the Broad River at Riverfest, when we did this oh huge hip year of Riverfest. Yeah, okay. But this was, like, Riverfest in the early 80s, yeah, so, I mean, this was, like, crazy. But yes, I, I remember Riverfest. Yeah. Well, way back in the day, Widespread Panic used to play at Riverfest, and I remember watching them down on that old stage that got washed away that was down by the river, like, way back in the day. I mean... I mean, this, was, this would have been when I was, like, I don't know, five or six, like, super young, but I just remember them... And, like, of course, I didn't, you know, whatever. They were just, like, my friend's dad's buddies. <laughs> but he was a roadie for widespread panic forever.
you in the cut? What? <laughs> we are heading back toward our house. It's way down here. Rough area? No. No, it's not actually. <laughs> well, Certainly not what I would consider to be a rough area. area. <laughs> no, this is like, this is a nice area. Yeah. It is. It's, it's, it's not problematic at all. There's really not, I mean, okay, there are some sort of ghetto areas around here, but not like bad. Mostly the kind of stuff where you'll get stuff stolen out of your car, but not the kind of place where you'll get shot. Yeah. And, I mean, obviously having stuff stolen out of your car isn't that big of a deal, because there are a bunch of people who just left their shit in the back of their car. Now, this is mostly student housing down here. That's neat. They have, like, rows of... Look, they got, like, rows of wooden blocks across their window. That's interesting. Climber playset. It is a musical place. Like Athens is is quite uh, full of bands. Oh, that's a neat old parking deck there. That would be fun to go down and take photographs in, wouldn't it? Just this weird, random, industrial-looking thing. <laughs> About 20 minutes from, a, what, 20 minutes from Athens? Musical places 20 minutes from Athens? <laughs> I was about to say we should get on the other side of the road, and then I realized, no, we should not. No, they're, it's sprinkler. It's just <laughs> not a very well aimed sprinkler. Can we go by Bill Berry's farm? I have no idea. Good houses means bad neighborhood. Bill Berry's farm. I don't know where Bill Berry's farm is. You're 20 minutes from us. A lot of places are 20 minutes from Athens. My dad's house is 20 minutes from Athens. <laughs> no, these are just like old houses and it's mostly students that live down here. So it's not like, I, I definitely wouldn't classify it as a bad neighborhood, but then again, I might have a different definition of bad neighborhood than some people do. Cause I mean, I did actually grow up in the ghetto where you could get shot. So, <laughs> Like, where it was fairly likely that you would get shot. And so, you know, I remember having our house robbed multiple times when we were kids. Like, you couldn't let people in unless they gave you a code word. Like, I mean, really. I was not, I did not grow up in a very good area. And then we moved out to the middle of nowhere in, like, the country. And, uh, <laughs> so, like, this is, this is not what I would consider a bad area in any way, shape, or form. It's an area full of, like, 20-somethings, mostly, who were all students at UGA, and Finally, I'm not yeah, really worried about now. them. <laughs> 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 
Way down in Athens, Georgia, that's where I am going on the road tomorrow, down to Amsterdam, it says. Yeah, I know, like, some parts of Georgia fairly well, but not all of them. I used to do pony clubs, so places that have, like, big horse parks, I, I'm fairly familiar with. If it doesn't have a huge horse park, not necessarily so familiar with it, as far as traveling goes. So quiet out here. <laughs> I don't personally find it creepy to say that you're 20 minutes from where I am because I mean I'm I'm in downtown Athens, which is a very well-known place. Yeah. It's very easy to find. Like if you were like, I'm living three houses down from you, that might be a little creepy. But, like, I'm 20 minutes from where you are. That's, that's not really creepy at all. Like, like not to me. <laughs> I know, seriously. Wait, are you my brother? Yeah, it takes about 20 minutes to get from Dad's place to here. <laughs> yeah, 20 is a very big circle around where we are. Yeah, it actually is. You can get, you can get pretty damn far in 20 minutes from here. Is this El Salvador? Yes. No, this is Georgia, USA. <laughs> we were just downtown a minute ago, and now we're heading we're back to toward our, our new house, which has nothing in it because we just got it. But, yeah, we. Do. I'm thinking we'll turn the air mattress on, and then we can kind of, like, yeah. Yeah, like, I mean, theoretically, we could order some takeout or something. You could order DoorDash and get it to our house. I know. Pizza. I'm really excited about it for my friends from over. Yeah, so that's... Please. I don't know what the financial situation is right now as far I'm not as... We yeah, that. so that's the only reason that I'm, like, maybe not. I have some cash on me, but I don't want to... They don't really do COD anymore. This person just, like, sitting here. We're going to get kidnapped here or something. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> no, Athens is actually really safe. It's it's not not a dangerous place to live at all. There aren't a lot of jobs around here because there are approximately all of the students in North Georgia here. All of the students on the East Coast. All the students everywhere. Apparently all the all the students Everybody are here. And so so there's a lot of really cheap labor here, so like Jobs can be kind of hard to find. But, you know, aside from that, it's a beautiful place. It's fairly safe. The weather is decent. The question, what part of Europe are you in? Stay away from toppers. Ah, we were just over there. Like, not in toppers. I would not go into toppers. That is not my kind of place. It's not right now. Toppers is a strip club for anybody who couldn't pick that up by the name. Toppers. <laughs> Somebody was telling me, I can't remember who it was, but they were telling me they went to like some, it was a male strip show over at Topper's and they were like, the guys just didn't even have like good muscly bodies. They were just like guys, you know, like kind of not well-defined muscles, no six packs, just kind of like teenage, and no, had teenage, early 20s equivalent of a dad bod. And they were just like, this is not, you know, if I... My friends look better than this, and I mean, I am absolutely sure that if I was like, hey, I'll pay you five bucks to give me a strip tease, then do it. I know most of my friends would give me a strip tease if I asked them to. I don't really want that from any of my friends, but I'd do it. You just gave me a gold mountain reception. Well, thank you. Are some parts in Georgia racist? Yeah. Yeah, okay, mostly Southern Georgia is much more racist. Southern than Georgia is pretty <laughs> bad. No, no, she's Southern right. Georgia Southern Georgia is, is pretty worse. bad. Up here, well, we um, also live, Athens is an international city. Yeah, Athens so is a college town. Like, there are people from all over here. Athens itself is actually really liberal. Yeah. And, and Southern Georgia before also was, and they took refugees in. Yeah. But Southern Georgia is definitely on the more racist there, side. Yeah, and it's sort of, there are pockets of places, like, that are that are really sort of 
liberal and, you know, generally good, nice people who are not racist or bigoted or assholes. And then, of course, there are pockets of, like, serious, nasty, good old boy types who are just, that's just, like, ingrained in their culture. And there's really not a lot, you know... If if I see a rebel flag, I turn around too. I'm like, uh, uh, that's not. This is not the place for me. These are not my people. <laughs> I kind of pass this one, y'all, cause you know I'm white, but uh, I ain't that white. <laughs> oh, it does. Yeah, they're burning stuff. Somebody's burning a brush pile. Oh, it smells amazing. <sighs> across the railroad tracks to get to our house. So are we on the right side of the tracks or the wrong side of the tracks? Well, if we lived on the other side, we'd have to cross the tracks, wait for the train to go by every time we wanted to go to the liquor store. No, it's not true. There's, well, I'm sure there's a liquor store on the side of the tracks somewhere. But well, That's a neat, like, old... I don't know if it's a house now or just... Yeah. Or just like a... I don't know what that is, whether it's a house or a business or whatever. It used to be an upholstery place. Hello from Lawrenceville. Hello, Lawrenceville. You are pretty close to. Yeah, it's actually like. I don't know, because I don't know where all y'all are from and, like, what you're used to, but this is not, this isn't creepy or, like, weird or unsafe or anything this out here. This is much better than anywhere else we've lived in the past, like, ten years. It actually is. Mm -mm. Oh, commerce, huh? That's like really not far from here. Whoa. Damn it. <laughs> 